imprisoned human rights defender Vidadi Iskandarov's life is under threat. He has serious health problems. He suffers from serious diabetes but is not receiving the necessary medical assistance, reported the chairman of Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety, Amin Hussainov, at a press conference today. Iskandarov's trial is underway at Goichai District Court. He has been charged with forcing a citizen to vote against his own party, interfering in influencing the activities of the election committee and battery, or part of the Azerbaijani criminal code. According to Husseinov, these accusations are politically motivated. The fact that the hearing is being held with special security measures and that employees of the narcotics trafficking specialists from Agdash Police Department had been invited to the courthouse support Husseinov's claim, he said. Vidadi Iskandarov is being treated as a terrorist, emphasized Husseinov. He also stressed that the trial is being processed by the order of Goichai District Executive Power. This has had an unfortunate consequence. Employees of the executive power have insulted journalists and human rights defenders participating in the trial, and the judge is not allowing filming or photography. Their goal is to break the morale and dedication of human rights defenders by using pressures and torture against them, said IRFS chairman. Husseinov also said that human rights organizations and representatives of the diplomatic corps were not paying enough attention to the hearing process. Only the U.S. Embassy had sent a representative to observe the hearing. Lawyer Khalid Bagilov called the hearing a tragicomedy. He directed the attention of the observers to the fact that most of the alleged victims and witnesses have mental illnesses. The lawyer believes that the fact that the hearing is being carried out by the general prosecutor's office instead of the regional prosecutor's office suggests that the charges are politically motivated. Bagirov also said that Iskandarov is being held in extremely poor conditions. He is not allowed to walk outside. The lawyer has lost all hope that they will reach an objective or fair verdict and predicted that the case would be taken to the higher courts with the ultimate aim of sending it to Strasbourg. Human rights defender Rasul Jafarov called Vig Vidali Iskandarov a potential political prisoner. He noted that Iskandarov's name will be written in the list of political prisoners sent to the Council of Europe and other international organizations.